Hey guys, it's your girl Tony Blake from Tony Blake Projects. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This month, I'm sharing with my YouTube family 30 tips out of my 50 tips travel tip guide. And I'm just sharing some tips and stuff of what I picked up along the way of traveling to over 30 countries, over 35 states, and just sharing the mistakes and stuff and things that I discovered. So this clip that you're gonna see today is an old clip um, because I started recording this a long time ago. This is something I knew I wanted to share. So this clip, I'm pretty much gonna tell you, it is for a more advanced traveler, okay? So if this is your first time tra traveling, I highly do not recommend this tip that you're about to see. But if you feel a little um, adventurous, then keep watching. crazy right so I'm going to tell you why I book a one-way so one ways are usually cheaper sometimes and if you're going to a particular country so you need to map out where you're going so perfect example if you're going to Asia know the countries in Asia see how you can get around you might fly from California more than likely let's say San Francisco or LA you're flying from there and you end up in China from China you actually can take a train or take the bus into Hong Kong okay especially if you're in South China and it once you're in China you can it, let's say a plane ticket it's less than a hundred dollars to go to Vietnam to go you know you might pay like two three hundred to go to Japan what I will tell you the trick about one ways where you are going you need to research and make sure that they don't require you as a US citizen or whatever nationality you are to have a return ticket so how do you get around that Number one, either don't go to that country if they need proof. And again, research on the country's immigration website, okay? Um, or you can use um, the, the U.S. website, and I will drop that in the link below. It. The U.S. website has all the countries with all the rules and regulations, visa requirements, and things like that. So either don't go to that country, or so before you go to your next country, you book a ticket and most airlines will allow you to cancel it with at, within a certain time period without any penalties so that's how I usually get around it so either know which countries you're going to that don't require a return ticket or if they do require a one-way ticket, a return ticket, and you just absolutely want to go to that country, then just book a ticket at the last minute and so you can get through immigration or whatever it is and then cancel it. Um, but you need to have a plan as to how you're exiting that country. Don't plan to cancel it and don't know how you're leaving. So what I found is that it's so cheap. If you're going to a particular region, like I would not, if you're a US, you're in the United States, I would not, and it's just me, I would not fly from the United States to go to uh, Thailand, to go to Bali and come back home. No, that's not happening. If I'm going to Thailand, then I'm gonna go to Vietnam, then I'm gonna Cambodia, I'm just going to live it up. And you don't need a lot of time in each country. If you just really want to see certain things that just you have to do, then yes, plan accordingly. So you need time on your hands because I wouldn't just say, oh, I'm going to Thailand for a week. Especially if you're spending a lot of money on airfare going. Yeah, I want to see as much of that area as I possibly can. Okay, same thing with... Africa. I know people who have 10 days vacation and they spend that entire 10 days in one particular city, in one particular country. No, 
how what I was able to do is spend some time in Kenya, you know, fly to Egypt, fly to um, Zimbabwe, catch, you know, I, I was gonna take the bus to South Africa, but my friends advised me against that. So I flew into Zimbabwe, uh, to South Africa, and I think South Africa is one of those countries that require a return ticket, so or a way out, not necessarily a return ticket, you don't have to go back to your original destination. So from South Africa, I had to book a ticket to Egypt because that's where I was going. So again, research, 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 but nothing wrong with booking one-way tickets. If you, if you want to see a lot of places, research how you're going to get around, how you're going to get out of that country, and you'll be fine. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. I also want you to understand that it is not only for international travel. If you're traveling within, within the United States, you can book one ways. Just, again, be on the lookout. So sometimes you can fly one way on one airline and book your other one way on another airline because it's just cheaper. Or it may be cheaper to book a one way in and out of a smaller airport. So for example, uh, Char Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're in Charlotte, you may want to check out or flying into Charlotte, you may want to check out Concord Regional, okay? Sometimes airlines, Allegiant, offer really cheap fares to get in and out, or sometimes it might be easier to do Charlotte, so you can do a one way out of each. So hope this tip was helpful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you are interested in pre-ordering my guide, it is only $2.99. The link is in the bottom. See you guys in the next video.